Hey, welcome back, boys and girls. Good to see everybody back this week. I'm Brother Tim with Calvary Baptist Church in Middleburg, Florida. Now remember, every week we're going to have a Bible study, 1 p.m. You can check us out on YouTube or even our Facebook page for the church. Be sure to get your parents' permission before you tune in. This week we're going to have a Bible study about Joseph and his coat of many colors. So our story starts off with a young man by the name of Joseph, whose father's name was Jacob. And they lived in the land of Canaan. That's where their grandparents hailed from. Now, Joseph was about 17 years old. That's old enough to probably drive a car these days. He was a young man indeed. And he had 11 brothers. Can you believe that? 11 brothers. Imagine having 11 brothers running around, always having enough people to play with or to fight with. Now, of these 11 brothers, one of them was the only one younger than Joseph himself. So he was the second to the last. And because Joseph was one of the youngest, his father Jacob spent a lot of time with him. Even so much, he actually made him an awesome coat. A coat of many colors. Very similar to the one that I have on. You see, back then they didn't have jackets and, and hoodies like we have today. No, he made him a special raiment of multiple colors to show his love for his son. Now, Jacob didn't make the same kind of coat for all of his children, and this caused a lot of his brothers to be jealous. And they didn't have a lot of kind words to say about their brother Joseph, because they saw their father spend all this time with Joseph and give him this wonderful coat of many colors, but yet didn't do anything like that for them. I'm sorry. Hey, kids. I must have dozed off there for just a moment. I was having some pretty strange dreams. Have you ever had a strange dream before? Well, listen. Our story continues with Joseph, and he was having some pretty strange dreams. I'll tell you a little bit about it. See, the Bible talks about it in Genesis chapter number 37. Joseph had some dreams, and he went before his brethren with it. Listen to some of these dreams. He said, For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose, and stood upright, but yet your sheep stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheep, as if he's talking about his brother's sheaves were laying down before him. Then he says in verse number 8, And his brethren said unto him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us? Shalt thou have some dominion over us? And they hated him yet more for the dreams. And he dreamed another dream, and he told it to his brethren. And he said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. Uh, that the sun and the moon and even the stars made obeisance unto me. And he told it to his father and, and to his brethren, and his father rebuked him for it. See, these dreams were something special. God was preparing Joseph for something. Because one day, one day in our story that we'll see here in a few moments, all the folks around are going to end up looking towards Joseph for help. Then one day, Jacob wanted to check up on his sons because he was worried about them. So he sends Joseph after them. And Joseph, being a good young man, did exactly what his father asked of him. Now, kids, we ought to be doing the same thing. I just want to say that when mom and dad ask us to do something, we ought to do it without fuss. So he goes and looks for his brothers. He actually runs into a young man along the way who asks him, where are you going? And he says, I'm trying to find my brethren. So he points him in the direction of Dothan. So Joseph heads that way, and as he's walking, no doubt wearing his coat of many colors, his brethren see him afar off, the Bible says, and they go, look, here comes the dreamer, probably mocking him, making fun of him for the dreams, because you remember, his brothers weren't happy about it. Dreams to make him think that he was going to be some kind of ruler? So they started probably mocking him and saying, here comes that dreamer. But you know what? They had another agenda. They started talking about doing some really evil stuff. They wanted to kill Joseph. These are his own brothers. Can you believe that? But you know what? He had one elder brother named Reuben that tried to stop it. See, Reuben, he was trying to help Joseph in a way. He didn't want to see his brothers kill him because they were conspiring to do so. He suggested that they throw him into a pit. And as the story goes on in the Bible, when Reuben returns at one point, he notices that his brother is gone. Rather than having been killed, his other brothers actually sold him into slavery by a man named Potiphar. 
he came and he purchased them and took them into his own house as a slave. So we're going to pause right there because I want to talk more about this story next week. And I'll leave you with a few thoughts for this week. You see, Joseph, he was being used of God when he didn't even realize it yet. See, God had given him the dreams. God had put him in a situation that allowed him to get away from his family and be placed in the Potiphar's house. Now, you and I would first read that story and think, wow, that's terrible. His brothers wanted to kill him. His brothers sold him into slavery. But you know what? While man intended it to be evil, God intended it to be good. And there's a really great ending to the story. But I want to hold off on that and bring you back next week. So that way we can really go into detail about what happens to Joseph while he's under Potiphar's rule. So, if you want to find out what happens to Joseph, if you want to find out what happens to his brothers and his father Jacob, if you want to know about the story of Potiphar and his house, you need to tune back in next week, 1 p.m., either on YouTube or Facebook. Make sure you get your parents' permission, and I will look forward to seeing you then. Have a great week, everybody.